Welcome to another episode of the Horror Hotel. Today we go a little bit deeper on the Asylum of Shitstorm. Digging a little deeper into the Asylum thing, I have discovered some uh, rather disturbing things. Not only did it do bad movies, but it also got actually a plan for making these mockbusters. Uh, and we call them mockbusters mostly because a lot of their movies is playing on the title of a popular movie releasing about the same time, year, or in a, in a certain hype uh, timeline. Uh, so, yeah, mockbusters. And, uh, and they do this on purpose. And to not only throw shit at the asylum, I also want to go through what the asylum actually is. It's an American independent production company. It distributes low budget uh, direct to video films. So basically, what it does is it, it makes movies at a low budget that goes direct to video. It doesn't go up on cinema or any big screens like that. Um, they usually do video videos to capitalize on others uh, which means they instead of doing transformers or paying for the license they're doing transmorphers yeah basically what they did not to drag out the video too much is they uh, they released uh, the war of the worlds um, in their own adaptation, uh, the same year as Steven Spielberg got his adaptation of, of the novel out, and they got a really large order of that movie, larger than anyone else they'd done. Uh, so what they decided to do is instead of actually trying to create good movies, they decided their business model was going to be, all right, we, we, we do mockbusters and we get sales from them, and uh, basically do, just do movies, uh, so people watch them. Uh, one of the creators of uh, uh, the Asylum actually told the press that he doesn't want to... Uh, he doesn't want to drag along the bigger brands or the bigger names, but he only wants people to watch his movies, which of course is complete bullshit. It's complete horseshit. He's lying. He's... That, that is... That is... Uh, He's just trying to escape what is what he is actually doing. Of course, he wants them to watch the movie. I mean, we can we can see on the asylum numbers that they have never, ever had a loss in budget. That means all the movies they have released have gotten back their money and more. They actually do better than a lot of other movie companies out there. They, they, they don't take any risks, they capitalize on other, on the brands, and therefore always get back the money, which is usually under the one million budget, which also makes the company afloat, which makes them able to produce more movies, and maybe, you know, sometimes get a little frisky about it, but they never really do, do they? Um, and how they have done this, there are two genres that are usually okay, with being a little bit more low budget. It's sci-fi and it's horror. And both of those genres are genres that the Asylum specialized in kind of ra randomly. And they're, and they're making their way into uh, Netflix to make the money back since DVD sales are very low and they are not on the cinema. So they, they, are, they are fully aware of what they're doing. They, they know they produce shit. But they want their company afloat. It's it, it, they they stopped creating. They stopped this. They stopped trying to write their very own movies. You know, every year they they just stopped doing that. They they just like now. Nah, you know what? Let's rewrite some scripts and release some movies, and 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 then we get money back from it. Uh, except maybe Sharknado and the Mega Shark series. Uh, there is not a whole much cre creativity to it. Um, and they are fully aware of this. And uh, they, they just go along with it. I mean, they take in lawsuit after lawsuit. And they settle the lawsuit with... Alright, we changed the name of the movie. Uh, uh, for example, we have when they tried to do The, uh, the Day the Earth Stood Still. They did the, de the Day the Earth Stopped. And was threatened by legal suits, and they postponed the release of that movie just to get out of it. Uh, they also have um, uh, when 
when Universal Pictures released Battleship, they tried to release American Battleship, uh, but it was threatened by lawsuit uh, by Universal Pictures and renamed it to American Warships instead. Um, and we also have uh, when New Line Cinema uh, uh, tried to uh, release when they released The Hobbit. Asylum went so far to name their movie The Age of the Hobbit and was of course threatened with a lawsuit and renamed it to Lord of the Elves. Why? And we also have the mockbuster of The Walking Dead, namely Sea Nation, which basically builds up on the first season of The Walking Dead when they're trying to get uh, someone uh, getting people to the CNC. It also has the idea from uh, The Last of Us a little bit, you know, uh, that Ellie is immune to the disease. So they're trying to get her to some scientists or whatever. And they mix that up and send it, uh, sends it on the sci-fi network, which is basically a network that sends all their movies. There, there's almost like they have a deal, which... I don't even know what to say. It's a problem making this making this video. I, I, I'm so in loss of words that I don't know really what to say. It's... Man, this company, what, what is wrong with you? D tricking people with fake names, uh, doing shit movies. I know you need to make money, all right? I understand that. I completely understand that you need to make money, which you do. You break even uh, after about three months after the movie's release and you never lost money on anything. But why do you have to capitalize on other... You're like a tick. Like a tick. Uh, you basically sit on someone's thigh and then suck the blood from them until you had enough and then go away and make your own movie. That is basically what you do. And it's kind of... Um, not to say that it's actually copyright infringement, because it's not, but it's highly m questionable moral-wise and ethic-wise. I, I, I kind of feel bad. I, I don't mind low-budget movies. Uh, I actually enjoy a lot of low-budget movies. The Pyramid is a newer example of this. But I want your own creations. And you have a production company that have done mockbusters for so long, you should have economical stability to actually make your own written movies instead of instead of still doing this shitty practice in which you just basically fuck over people in the DVD shelves. I don't like it. And neither should anyone. We shouldn't support this kind of practice. And 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 that is my um, that is my ultimate point in this. Thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to watch out um, watch out watch my Twitch TV. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. Uh, see you around.